Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Spurred On. It's me, Emma, and the lovely Craig, who is not the other Craig. Craig Vi. Craig Vi. Yeah, Craig, not Craig How are you Craig Vi? I'm very well. How are you, Emma? I'm very well. You're looking very groomed. Is this because you've been to a Turkish barber by any chance? It might well be, yes. <laughs> Finchley Central. Oh, God. Mr. Trimmer. Yeah, there's been a lot of Plug. chat about Turkish barbers so far this morning. So mm -hmm. we thought we'd include you in the Turkish barber chat. We like Turkish barbers. Yeah, we've also liked Spurs just a bit. Um, yeah, we're here to talk about Spurs, talk about match preview. We're playing into Milan. We are. On Friday. Are. ITV4. Live on ITV4 so everybody can watch it. It's very exciting. We are going to be talking in this little G. Uh, yeah. Talking in this what? Talking in this G. Talking in this what? Talking in this video yep. uh, about our predictions for the game, about our team selection, about some stats, you know, how good we are yep. when it comes to Inter, and head also head. some memories. And my God, there oh, are oh, oh, oh. some memories oh. when it comes to playing Internazionale. So, let's start off. What are we going to kick it off with then? I think we should kick off with team selection. Team, team selection. selection. We think that's a good one? Yeah. Well, look, let's start with the good news, right? Most of the first teamers are coming back. Yes. Yeah. I mean, they've all, they've all been given extended leave after the Euros to go away, have their holidays, refresh, come back. And we, they, we've spoken a lot about the end of last season already today on the various yes. uh, vids that we've been doing. You can catch up on all of those you somewhere can, along this menu list. You can indeed. Make sure you do. <laughs> um, so let's just leave that to one side because I think we all know how it ended last season. We all try and, and forget. We all know how the Euros went, particularly for the England players. We all try and forget that too. And for the French players. Yeah, not so And much. for the Belgians. I mean, look, you know, they've <laughs> all got a point. <laughs> what I'm saying is they've all got a point to prove. I'm Aren't they? They're going to be coming back hungry, right? Yes. They've the seen range. our first two pre-season games, I would imagine. I would hope so. They're saying to each other, look, We've, we, we, we played all right in those games, particularly against Atletico Madrid. We now need a win under our belt, and the boys are back to bring it. The boys are back to bring it. I mean, this is the exciting thing, because I think, and I think you think as well, this could be potentially the starting lineup for next season. Yeah, I think to, so. To face Inter, I would suspect. I now, imagine so, yeah. There's going to have to be a, little, a couple of little tweaks, because we've got some injury slash suspension mm -hmm. issues. But obviously, it goes without saying that the man Hugo Come is back on. in goal. I mean... Come on. It's going to be Lloris. It's going to be Lloris. I mean, Vorm's, Vorm's, uh, you know, he's done okay. And then the McGee came in a little bit, didn't he, against yeah, Atletico? Yeah, which is the... good. It's good for them to get game time under their belt. But, you know, yep. we're not messing about now. No, when, when it gets to Friday, we're going to have a week to go until the new season kicks off. Yeah. It's got to be Hugo. Hugo so, in goal. Hugo in goal. Let's look at our back four. Now, it's been experimental, I think is the best way I would describe it, when we were out in Australia. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, Somewhat. Particularly against Juventus, it really showed that it was experimental. Yeah, that yeah. first half, don't watch it, it was Will Miller crash. as a left back? Oh, I good mean, God. Yeah, it wasn't still pretty. Still don't know what to say about that. Dominic Ball, probably on his way back to Rangers. Ooh, <laughs> I would suspect after good. his performance. It wasn't good. It wasn't shocker. good. But I like to think that this time round, we're going with the big boys. Yeah. We're going with the solid, proven, the meanest team in the Premier League last season. So, yeah. of course... We're talking about our boys, our England boys, back at the fullbacks. Kyle Walker, bringing yes. it back. Danny Rose, bringing Hell it back. yes. And then in the middle, we can't have the Belgian bromance, sadly, no. because Jan, Super Jan, although is very much on his way back to fitness, and they do think he's going to be almost fit for the start of the season, which is an amazing it's recovery time. Really good news. Probably going to be a game too soon for him now. Yeah. So, the return of Big Kev. Big Kev. Big Kev. Big he was Kev. so good Big last Kev. season. I love Big Kev. Yeah. When he came in for uh, for Jan again when he was injured. So Big Kev and then of course Toby. Who, Who else? else? Who, Who else? else? Yeah. Going to show these boys how it's done. You'll be like, yeah, you, you want to see what a central defensive partnership looks like? Step this way. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. So that's our back four. We move into the front two in front of the back four. Let's do it. Now again, we've got an issue because our man Musa. Uh, is obviously suspended. Still got four games to go um, mm. in his Premier League suspension after that whole Chelsea incident. Debacle. Yeah. I wasn't going to say debacle because I was quite proud of the way that we kind of kicked their asses. But yeah, debacle result-wise. Yeah. Posh uh, was proud of it as well if you listen Posh, to his Posh comments. was very proud yeah. of it. We like that. Yeah, it was a moment in history. It was a, it was a change in history. It was a change in history. It was a turning point. And yeah. I like to think he's right about yeah. that. But, you know, Upshot is, sadly, we are going to be missing Musa for the first four mm. games of the Prem, which means it doesn't really make sense to play him on Friday None. because... You know, a bit like we mentioned in our Spurvets video, it's a bit like giving him a little bit of football. They're just taking it away again. I mean, that's not fun for him. Well, and also what it means is you're taking away the, the opportunity to get some momentum for the players who are going to start the season. Yeah, completely. And obviously we haven't seen Eric Dyer uh, since the Euros and we haven't seen him um, alongside a certain new signing, Mr. Wanyama. Yeah, that is going to be interesting. So I suspect, and do you suspect also? I do suspect also. It will be uh, Dyer and Wanyama yep. in that holding midfield role, that little partnership, and it will be good. I mean, you know, they're two beasts. Let's face it. Oh so my God! I mean, it's nothing gonna be a is good getting past them. I think it's going to be a great partnership. Literally, <laughs> ten-ton trucks bounce off of Wanyama. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. He's a brick. He's a brick wall. Also, it sets up goals. Yeah, it does. Yeah. You know, so 
bringing it at both ends. Just saying. So uh, we'll go with those two in the uh, defensive mid. Now in front of them, you've got your three. I mean, I think fairly standard, really. Again, classical front front three. For a us. classical, classical. Nice. The, well, well, classic. The classic. The classic. So the, the, the Spurs. Well, everyone Spurs knows classic. is the first team. The first eleven. Exactly. The three that you would put in. Basically. So we got Ali in the middle. Ali in the middle. Lamella and Ericsson. Yeah. Standard. Nice and easy. Standard. I mean, Lamella's actually played really well in the preseason tour over in Oz. He he's been the standout player, I would say. Um, yeah. He's definitely shown his kind of step up in Big game in player class. for us now. Most Massive definitely. Massive step up in class. One of the first names, if, if not the, well, probably not the first name, but definitely one of the first names on the team sheet for me. Yeah, it's, it's well documented how much I love Lamella. I'm a big Lamella love. You know, I'm, I think he's going to just go on better and better this season. Of course. I'm excited. Excited for him. And obviously he went to the semifinals of the Copa America as well. Mm. Uh, so, you know, oh, sorry, not the semi final. What the am finals. I talking about? Yeah, the final. Exactly. So, yeah. well, yeah, poor Messi and his tears. Mm. Awkward. Uh, yeah, so that then brings us to the man up top. Now, this is where it could get interesting because obviously we've got your man Janssen, who's been playing uh, in Oz, yeah. who has looked decent. I think he's probably lacking a little bit of fitness, especially by Poch's levels of fitness. Yeah, oh, he, he's got some work to do. Yes. He, uh, he's, he's, there's some timber on that lad. But we love him. We do love him. Love him, look at his work rate. He really works yeah. hard, like yeah. creates a lot of opportunities. Yeah, he did um, well to create the opportunity for the goal against uh, Juventus. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think he's unlucky not to have had a goal so far. Yeah. So that's interesting. However, however, you've got your man Kane coming back. We haven't seen Harry since, again, let's not talk about the Euros, but we haven't seen mm. him for a while. He's obviously now, you know, coming off on the back of happy news. He's going to be a daddy. He is. Very exciting. Congratulations. New mini year down the way. Yeah, they've got a little human coming. Oh, it's very exciting. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so I think, given that Kane hasn't had any match experience um, this summer, that it's going to be Kane up front rather than Janssen will get a li little rest. I think you're right. I think it definitely is going to start that way. Um, and we'll see what happens from there. I mean, do you, do you reckon we'll get any minutes? We'll see any minutes with, with Janssen and Kane playing? I in think this it's match? entirely possible. You know, I think Poch has got to look at it definitely um, because Janssen, we know, can play as the solo man up front. Yeah. He can play as a part of the front too. He can also play on the wing. So, you mm. know, I think he'll definitely get introduced at one point. And whether Poch uses that as an, a way to change the formation slightly. Yeah, maybe even a midfield diamond we might see. Yeah. 4-4-2 with a diamond. Who yeah. knows? So it'll be interesting to see, but I think that will be our starting 11, is our kind of conventional, what we would describe would be the first 11 for the Everton game. Big time. Yes, so let's move on then. So stats. Now, our record against Inter is pretty good. It is pretty good. We've played Inter four times. Yeah. And technically, according to the records, it's two wins apiece. Yeah. However, yes. got to be a caveat on this one. Mm. We played Inter in the Europa League in 2012-13, uh, in the last 16. We won the first leg breezily, 3 0 at White Hart Lane, all good, looking great, you yeah. know, standard. Mm. However, uh, you know, this being Spurs, of course we don't make things easy for ourselves. No, we don't ever. like to do that, no. So we went away to the San Siro yeah. and we lost 4 1 <laughs> in yes. 90 minutes, uh, which was pretty terrible. So that goes down as an inter win. However, because it was a knockout tie and it was 4 4 in aggregate, it then went to extra time. And of all people, Emmanuel Adebayor, remember this? Jumped up in extra time, scored the winner. I was in the San Siro that night and it had been a thoroughly miserable night. It's got to be the only time mm. that I think I've really gone mad cheering Adebayor, like really excitingly. Up in that, anyone who's been to the San Siro knows the away fans, you sit up in the gods somewhere. Yeah. And it was it was a grim night. It was cold and bleh. Oh. And, you know, we watched our ship four goals. And then you had to cheer Adebayor. Yeah. So, you know, that was interesting. So technically, like I said, they based their records on 90 minutes. Mm. So 90 minutes, it's 2-2. Two -two between Inter and Spurs, but actually it's 3-1. Yeah, we won it's the time. We won, we won the time. It's a 3-1. 3-1. 3-1. Yeah, no. Yeah, 3-1. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were right with that, didn't you? Well, you know, I'm just saying, the then, then, no, technically it's four games, right? Two in yeah. the Europa League, Yes. but we won the tie. Yes. The next two, which we'll talk about now, the Champions League, oh, yes. right? It was it was one game apiece. So talk yes. a bit about that first. Yes. So we go over to the San Zero, yes. and we lose 4-3, Yes. right? Yes. We then come back to the lane, bring them back to the lane, yes. and we beat them 3-1. 3-1. So again, it's two games apiece, yeah. but we win the tie. So technically, we've beaten, in, in the last two times we played Inter, in matches overall, we've beaten them twice. Well, no, because the Champions League was group stage. So it didn't kind of count all in that right, way. All right, okay. But you know, you'd like yeah. to think of it as you can't a win aggregate. because- What you're saying is you can't aggregate it. No, but, you can't. But I'm going to. Well, we finished top of our group. Yeah, so and they didn't, they didn't go through, did they? Just putting it out there. I'm lucky. Just putting it out Unlucky. there. So that brings us quite nicely onto memories, I feel. Because, oh, you know, on. we want to talk about memories against Inter. Yeah. There's only one man, really, that we can talk about when it comes to again, these memories. Again, talking about Gareth Bale of again Of course, today. we're I talking mean, about Gareth Bale. Oh, I mean, my God. The two games that we played against Inter Milan in the Champions League, I mean, 
We're losing 4-0 at the San Siro. We, we, were, we were dead and buried. We were Spurs absolutely are getting dead and buried. The hammering they deserve. Yeah. Opening, yes, down to 10 men, as Barney was just reminded mm, us. You know, men. Opening Champions League campaign. Oh, they're mixing up with the big boys and they're failing. I was actually getting messages from my Chelsea family going, ah, this is what it's like for you to be playing with the big boys. And then, Up hi, Gareth. Mr. Bale. Hi, Gareth. Yeah. Identical goals as well. Hat trick. A hat trick. Hat trick. Of, of identical goals. I mean, they saw him do it once. The, f the first time he did it, I was like, "This is amazing." Oh. And but, then, you're, but you're thinking to yourself at that point, "Well, this is a bit of a fluke." You, you shut him down. Yeah. And then he does the, exactly <laughs> the same thing, like <laughs> minutes later, and I just couldn't believe. It. I, I I wondered whether I was watching a replay. Yeah. And then to do it a third time, I, I mean. Oh, I just, I still can't believe it now. I mean, that was obviously the game that announced him on the world stage. That everybody time. was like, whoa, who is this kid? And we'd already known how great he was by that point. But I yeah. mean, this was, it was different level. And then that really kicked the momentum for us and our Champions League campaign because people were like, whoa, well, we came, Spurs we, aren't necessarily the pushover. No, we, came, <laughs> we came out of that match, right, feeling like we'd won. Yes. Inter must have gone away thinking, what the hell what just happened? happened? And who the hell is this kid? <laughs> yeah, what and happened? Then, and then we bring it back to the lane As, and... And then White Hart Lane. 3-1, we said already, was the score. But that remains, and I'm sure for a lot of you guys here at White Hart Lane, it remains the greatest match I've oh, ever seen at White Hart Lane. It was insane. Inter Milan, let's not forget, at that time, were the European champions, mm. the defending champions. You know, when we got drawn in the group with them, everyone was like, oh, man, going home quite yeah. early. This, you yeah. know, we're not going to get out of the group stage. It'll be fun, but, you know, it's going to be short. See mm. you later. At White Hart Lane, Gareth just... What? He ruined someone's career. So Sorry, the, the best right back in the world at the time, Mycon, Mr. Mycon, yes. right? That was it, career over after that. I mean, Bye, Mycon. I think it, like, there was a time like, after Bale skinned him for like the second or third time, the camera panned to his face. <laughs> He's and just he like, was just a broken man. You could like, just see no. he was like, Please oh, take me off. Please yeah. don't make me play 90 minutes. <laughs> look at, I just can't do at the it. Bench, like, ah, help me, please. help me, please. Oh, please. Someone, yeah. anyone. Can we have 12 men? Yeah, I mean, all we sang was Taxi for Mycon all night. Oh, Poor lad. God. And he was never the same player after Bale that. Bale was ruthless as <laughs> he well. He was utterly ruthless. He, saw, he found that weakness. He found the chink in Mycon's armour, which was literally that Mycon just couldn't run as fast as Gareth Bale. No. And he just kept knocking it past him and then just oh, sprinting. It's it, almost, oh, it was just, it was so good. It's almost like after a while, you kind of go, do you know what? This is just mean. Maybe we should stop this. I mean, we yeah, just, we were so classy. Like... We were so, I mean, to oh, win was more. one thing. To win in style the way that we did. I mean, yeah. they didn't have a sniff. Um, yeah. When Pavlyuchenko scored in the final minute to make it 3-1, it was literally, like, it was no more than we deserved. The roof came off of mm. White Hart Lane that night. It was insane. Magic. Yeah. It was magic. I think what happened was we followed on. It was like, it was like the game had just, continued from the third goal that Gareth Bale scored in the San Siro. And it was just like the momentum from there. Just, just, kept, going. Didn't, just kept going. Just kept going. Just kept going and going and going. It's like as soon as that match kicked off, it was like, oh my oh my days, we are going to have them tonight. Like, we are going to absolutely beast them. Yeah. And then we did. And we did. Oh, one it of was the just, best nights Just incredible. Ever. I said, best match I've ever been at White Hot Lane. Let us know if that was your best match ever at White Hot Lane in uh, your Spurs supporting career. Mm. So, I mean, there's some memories for you. Magical memories. I think it's all fair to say. We like playing Inter. And um, so that brings us on to score predictions. Predictions, indeed. Yeah. And I, I, I want to say, having seen Inter Milan play Bayern Munich. Now, I know Bayern Munich are a cut above. Okay? Well, so yeah. let's not start trying to compare to that. No, let's not. But they were 4 nil down in the first 30 minutes. Ouch. If it's the same Inter that turn up, Ouch. and we've got all of our boys back, which we will, boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. I'm going to go for a Spurs win. I think it's going to be a Spurs win. Do you have a score? I reckon they're definitely going to score Inter Milan. I still, I still, I don't think the, the defence is going to be shored up enough yet, even with the boys coming back. They're a bit match rusty, aren't they? Yeah, so issues. I can see it being a one goal swing, maybe a 2-1, Yeah. 3-2. I think a 2-1 could be fair enough. I could yeah. go with that. Um, I mean, it's it's a weird one for pre-season because you don't really know like how much people's hearts are in it. You don't really know like what the manager's thinking in terms of formations no and players. No one wants to pick up an injury. Of course no one wants to pick up an injury, although you wouldn't have seen that if, uh, if when Chelsea played Liverpool the other day. That was oh, that nasty was stuff going feisty. on. So, you know, maybe it'll end up being like that. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you'd like to think that it'll be kind of quite a casual, to use Craig, Craig Mitch's. Keep it casual. Term, keep it casual. It'd be quite a casual event. Um, but I think Spurs can win it. I don't think I don't I don't see anything in the inter term in the inter team which makes me go, oh my god. No, I think let's stay positive. Let's say this is gonna be the first win of yeah. the preseason. Yeah. And we're gonna start building from this is where the, the season starts now. It starts on Friday at four o'clock and we're gonna beat Inter 
and we're going to go on from there. Absolutely. So that's what we think. T1, Spurs win. Uh, let us know what you think. Are we right on the predictions? Do you think that we're going to play a really strong first 11, like effectively our first team? Or do you think he's going to be tempted to put the youngsters in again? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, let us know as well about your memories of uh, playing into Milan, especially that magic night at White Hart Lane. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Give us a like for the video if you like it. And uh, come on, you Spurs. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Spurverts. It's me, Craig Mitz, joined by Emma Story. How's it going? It's good. How's it going for you? I'm good. You're back. I'm back. I've had a couple of weeks away. Oh. Well, not away, away.